In this video, we're going to talk about the skill stack of the new rich. This video is for you if you want to start a business or a new career path, if you want to enhance an existing career path, or you want to acquire and package skills that can add another income stream. Now, what is the new rich? I first heard this term from a guy named Tim Ferriss in his fantastic book, The 4-Hour Workweek. And the actual definition is the new rich are those who abandon the deferred life plan, create luxury lifestyles in the present using the currency of the new rich time and mobility. This is an art and a science we will refer to as the lifestyle design. Now, what that means in simple terms is people who want to live and enjoy life and make money now instead of waiting until they're retired at 65. And they want to have time, location, and financial freedom. And so today, we're going to talk about the skill stack needed for you to become and join the new rich. Now, there are three types of skills for the new rich, and I'm going to break down what each of these skills are, which ones you need, which ones are required, and which ones are optional, and where to start. And so let's jump into the first one now. The first type of skill are trade skills, and I consider these optional. So trade skills are required for a specific profession. Computer programmers or carpenters or plumbers or lawyers, accountants, doctors. Those are professions where people learn trade skills. They go to school, they go to university, they learn trade skills for that specific profession. Now, the thing about trade skills is it kind of boxes you in. If you're going to spend time and money learning a trade skill and spend years and years of your time, make sure that it's a career that you want. Otherwise, you can end up wasting a lot of time, money, and energy learning a skill that you're never gonna use. So for example, my wife is a pharmacist. She went to school for eight years learning these trade skills to become a pharmacist. And after going to school for eight years, she racked up over six figures in student loan debt. She's been working for about five, six years now, and she really doesn't care for her career too much. And in about one to two years, there's a good chance that she just becomes a stay-at-home mom and stops working altogether. So she essentially went to college, spent eight years, and paid six figures to learn skills that she's only gonna use for five to six years of her life. So that's why I'm saying if you're gonna learn trade skills and spend time and money doing it, make sure it's a career that you absolutely know that you want. Now, if you already have trade skills, that's totally fine. It can actually be a good thing. Keep watching this video. I'm gonna share how you can earn and make more money from the trade skills that you already have. Personally, I don't have any trade skills because I put all of my effort into the next type of skill I'm gonna share. So the second type of skill are money or business skills, and these are required. So this is where you should put most of your focus because in this video, we're talking about the new rich skill stack and money skills obviously help you make more money. The other thing about these skills is they're evergreen. So it doesn't matter what career you pick or what you're doing in your life. You're always going to be using these skills whenever you wanna make a bit more money. Now, there's a ton of different types of money skills you can learn, but I've simplified it into a core seven. Core seven skills that I believe if you wanna join the new rich, you need to learn these skills. Money skill number one is writing. This is the ability to write in a clear, concise, and understandable way. Number two is marketing. This is driving traffic and getting attention and getting eyeballs on whatever it is you're offering. Number three is sales. The ability to sell and to close and to get money in the bank. Number four is speaking. This is the ability and confidence and willingness to speak. Number five is content creation. Creating content that inspires, excites, entertains, and moves people. Number six is branding, making something sound and look great. And number seven is money management. This is for both business and personal. Money management means allocating income and using and investing your money wisely. These are the core seven money skills that I believe everyone who wants to join the new rich needs to learn. It's required learning. Now, a quick story about my experience with how a money skill, just a single money skill has changed my life and changed my business. So in 2016, I learned a money skill of copywriting and I would put copywriting in both the marketing and sales category. So I first started using copywriting to help me grow my e-commerce brand and sell more of my products online. After I sold those e-com stores, I got paid to use copywriting to help other businesses grow. Today, I use copywriting to sell my own products, to sell clients' products, and I also teach people how to use copywriting to grow their business as well. This one money skill of copywriting has helped me generate over eight figures in online sales, and it's a skill I'm gonna use every day for the rest of my entire life. Now, over the years, I've stacked on more of these money skills on top of copywriting, but now you can see just how powerful even learning one of these money skills can be. Now, like I said earlier, money skills are required skills. There is no way to avoid these skills. You don't need to be an absolute master or the best in the world at all of these skills, but you need to be proficient enough in all of them if you want to join the new rich and make money long-term. So consider money skills your non-negotiable skills. Now, the third type of skill are unique skills. And I would also say these are required. These are skills that make you different and unique than everybody else. And they could be a mix of hobbies and personal interests. So examples of my unique skills are things like Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and fitness and self-development, psychology, 
learning, teaching, real estate. These are skills that are unique to me and my personal interests and hobbies, and it makes me, with a combination of my money skills, different than other people out there. Unique skills give people a reason to work with you and to follow you versus anybody else. Now, what you wanna do to make your unique skills powerful is to combine it with your trade skills, if you have them, and of course, your money skills as well. And the combination of these three types of skills, your trade skills, money skills, and unique skills, is gonna make you stand out among everybody else. So, we talked about the three types of skills. Here is the ideal skill stack for the new rich. You have money skills, which are non-negotiable, the core seven that I covered. Then you have your unique skills, which are also non-negotiable, and you're gonna follow your personal interests and hobbies, and those become your unique skills. And then you have a bonus. If you already spent years learning some trade skills, you can get paid for that if you market those skills using the money skills. So for example, let's just say that you're a software engineer and you became one from going through a coding boot camp and you landed a job as a software engineer at a tech company. Maybe you create a product and you monetize your expertise on how you went from not knowing anything about software engineering to becoming a software engineer and the steps that you took and you could sell that as a product. That's what I mean by marketing your trade skills and turning that into a product and getting paid for that. Now, if you've watched until this point, you're probably wondering, where do I start? This sounds great, but where do I start? What skills do I learn first? And what's the path for me? So like I mentioned a few times, money and unique skills are required. So it's gonna depend on two other things. Number one is your trade skills, if you have them already. And number two is your audience and the size of your audience. So let's say that you have a trade skill, but you don't have any followers. Where do you start? How do you monetize? How is it gonna take you to the new rich? So what I'd recommend is a higher ticket coaching, consulting, or services offer. If you have a small or no audience at all, you need something more expensive expensive for the math to make sense. So for example, if you have 100 people to sell to or to help in your audience, well, you need something a little more expensive. You can't sell them a $10 product because the numbers aren't gonna make sense. If you convert 10% of that 100, which is just 10 people, and you sell a $10 product, you're gonna make 100 bucks. So if you sell something at 1,000 to 10,000, the math makes a lot more sense. So that's why I recommend if you have a trade skill, and low to no followers, start with coaching, consulting, or a service. Second scenario, if you have a trade skill with a audience and with followers, you can sell something like a recurring product or a membership or a subscription. So if you have a bigger audience, like one of my friends online, he's on LinkedIn, his name is Justin Welsh. He has hundreds of thousands of people in his audience and all Justin sells is $150 products around different topics. And he can do this because his audience is so massive that the numbers make sense. If 10% of let's say 500,000 people in his audience buy his product, that's 50,000 people. If you multiply 50,000 by $150, he's making quite a bit of money. So he has a trade skill and he has a big audience so he can sell these lower priced products and programs and the numbers make a lot more sense. So if you have a trade skill with a lot of followers and a big audience, you can sell a product or recurring membership or subscription. Now the third bucket is if you have no trade skill and you have no followers. My advice to you is to put all your time and energy and focus into learning money skills and then using those skills to get paid to offer it to other businesses as a service or you can use it to sell other people's products as an affiliate. So basically affiliate marketing. So this is actually what I did back in 2018 when I was starting up a service business. I didn't have a big following. So I had to go and sell a service. I had to learn money skills around email copywriting and email marketing. And I offered it and got paid thousands of dollars a month for it to help other businesses with this skill. So if you have no trade skill and no following, you should be putting all of your time into learning money skills so that you can get paid to do it for other businesses, get paid to help other businesses make more money and to sell their products and services. Now the fourth and final bucket, if you have no trade skill, but you do have a big audience or following built up, what you should do is learn money skills and then use those skills to create and sell your own product. Or you can be an affiliate to sell somebody else's product to your audience. So for example, I'm sure you see a lot of fitness influencers out there who promote supplements and workout gear. Those fitness influencers are using their money skills to promote other people's products. And they, they also might have their own products as well, like their fitness program. So if you have no trade skill, but you do have an audience, you can learn those money skills and you can use it to create and sell your own product or to sell somebody else's product and get a commission. So depending on what assets you currently have, those are the four different paths on where you should start and what you should focus on. So to recap this video, the ideal skill stack for the new rich is money skills, the core seven I covered, unique skills, which is why people should follow you over somebody else. 
and a bonus is if you have trade skills, and I just talked about four different ways that you can utilize that. If you stack these three skills in the right way, you can use it to start a new biz or career path. You can use it to enhance an existing career path, or you can use these skills to add another income stream to your life. Now, if you wanna learn the core seven money skills, like writing and marketing and sales, speaking, content creation, branding, and money management, I put together a new paid community called the Rainmaker Lab. Inside of the lab, you'll learn these money skills and also learn how you can apply it to your life and your business based on your specific situation. And that could be as a service for other businesses if you're just getting started, or you can use it to start, grow, and sell your own products and services and offers. If you wanna check that out, go to seananthony.co slash lab, L-A-B. That's gonna take you to a page where you can see some details around that. And if you're interested in joining, there's gonna be details on how to do that as well. But that's gonna wrap up this video around the skill stack of the new rich. If you found it useful, give it a like, comment below with any questions, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.